heard of Indori Hill before. Hello everyone. A beautiful day to you wherever you are in the world. Today, we are live and direct at the palace of Owa of Indori Kingdom. Here with me, I have the eye chief of Indori that is also in charge of tourism. My name is Charles Akinde, the Oshuri of Indori Kingdom. Wow. So we've seen the king and then what the king said is that uh, we should get in touch with you because you, we are here for tourism to promote, you know, uh, tourist sites in Ondo State and uh, which uh, Idori Hill happens to be even the number one among all the tourist sites. And that's the reason why we are here, sir. So, uh, Daddy, is there any history that you want to tell us about uh, Idori Kingdom before we move to the hill? Uh, well, Idori history is uh, it's gotten from uh, oral literature mostly. Uh, but definitely by now we are having written history. Uh, in a nutshell, Idori uh, has existed for many years. Uh, like any other Yoruba uh, towns, we've moved from one place to another after we left Ife. Uh, they left Ife and settled in uh, Ojanla, from Ojanla, passed through Ndo, passed through uh, um, Utaja, from Utaja to Okeidonri. So when we settled at Okeidonri, we settled there for about 200, 800 years. Before uh, it was a dumb on, on us that we have to come back to, to the level ground so that we can enjoy the benefits of technology like transportation. And many of our children at that time uh, they went to Undo to Ikiti or to land trade. Like, for example, the father of uh, Alade Ukmo, Alade, who has just died, was a carpenter. He was uh, the one who uh, ruled the first primary school we had at Okinore, and one of those who brought Christianity to Inore at that time. So Inore people uh, decided to move down here in 1928 at the advent of Christianity because of uh, schooling, because of uh, technology, because of uh, people are getting more enlightened. So when they settled at Aladi in the year 2000, uh, 1928, the other the group, the second batch, came to Odudi in 1933. Amongst the three communities which we had, we had Atoshi. Atoshi has existed for so long before Aladi, uh, because Aladi um, uh, um, Sachere Lagoku who settled at, Alad, uh, at uh, Atoshi before was a warrior who fought in Bini. So um, when he came to Idori, Oba Arubi the first made him the Sachere of Idori. They called him Alagoku. I said to his slaves at Atoshi, Okinifan, to be precise. So when he settled them at Okinifan, Okinifan, that's the only place in Idori where you can carry masquerade. When they carry masquerade at Okinifan, they can't even reach some places in Atoshi. You see, because anywhere you find that people carry masquerade is not places where all of them are settled. So, then, uh, after 1933, we have been developing this place, and um, before that one, we had many kings. We have 26 kings in the, in the list. The Oba Ruby Fin IV happened to be the 26th Oba, which we have had in Unori, starting from Abu Ogun. And the first Oba that settled at uh, the palace at Okina is Bagaju, who is the son of Abu Ogun. All the celebrations are in the in the, the memorabilia are all at Okedori today. 
So uh, that's what I tell you, I can tell you in a nutshell because there's so much. We have a book which we have written about the heritage and we have a, in a history the, the, the written by Archie Jomu, which is available uh, in his house. And of course I have a copy in my library. So that is uh, in a nutshell the story of Idore. Sir, Daddy, um, going to this hill, sir, what and what are the things that we might likely, you know, uh, find when we got there and um, what significance do they have to, you know, uh, the history of Idore? The only thing now they are looking at Okinori is the palace, ancient palace which I mentioned now. So, uh, the palace was built by Baganju, as I said, and from, from that time, all the others are settled there. Only these others are settled at Uru Day here. So the only thing you can see there now is, uh, is that palace, first and foremost. And the second one is the Agbogu footprint where they said that book when we were coming from uh, Utaja, they called the place Araga. There was a stone, but when you get there, you will see a footprint that looks like uh, 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 the footprint. They say, we put your leg in there, uh, foot there, it will fit it. If a small child put a foot Seriously? there, Seriously? And that is the place they prove that you are a witch. Mm. If you are a witch, you will put your leg in your foot there, it will not fit, according to them. Then there's another place where they call mat. The, the, the place where they maybe they spread their mat, or maybe, uh, I don't know what they call it, wonderful mat. So, it's, uh, so the, only, the, the, the only proof that we can have that people were sleeping there at that time, according to legend, because you can say legendary history, and you can read uh, the story. Mm -hmm. When you say legend, it's something you cannot prove. And you are not supposed to prove it anyway, because legend is legend. So, uh, a wonderful mat, a book footprint, then the writing on the rock. Uh, that one, people came from Futa sometimes. I think it was written in Hebrew. Uh, it's at, uh, uh, at Okinawa, where uh, on the rock, they call it uh, the. Um, and writing on the wall. Nobody knows who scribing, they don't scribe it there. And, uh, it's, it's there to see. And another thing, you have so many poems. Names are given to them, but I don't know whether covered by the grass now or by the... And then uh, talk about the three one. Then the third one is Aji. If you go to Aji, it's a separate community. It's the only community that has not been replicated in Odo here because it is uh, the seat of the head of Urusu. That is where Urusu went first before he came to Ukedore. That IG is a separate. When you talk about uh, quarters at Odo Day today, you have a Rogu quarter, you have a Salu quarter, you have a Dale quarter, but you don't have IG. IG is there. And that is the seat of Nobu, who is also a high chief in Edoria. You can see Eshuaji. Eshuaji is also what they are worshipping and what they, they have, they have some, some, I mean, it has some historical background, which the, which the people will tell you if you visit the place. Sir, um, is there anything you think um, the government can do to support, you know, the promotion of this ill, sir? Well, the government has been supporting, and we, if we ask from the government today, they are going to give uh, their commitment that we want to support it. It was promoted to World Heritage uh, tentative place in 2007 by UNESCO. And then uh, since that time, it will have been done to promote it and to, to build. Whatever we are able to build today is in the way of uh, promoting it to world heritage. But after the change of government, several governments, Mimiko had come and gone, then Agagua had come and gone. Now, Akechi is there. 
So all these governments have their own, uh, their own project, they have, they have their own Agenda. policy as regards to tourism. So unless we ask from the government what they want to do to it, we can, nobody can say what the government is ready to do. But what I think the government can do is in fact to try as much as possible to promote Idunri and, uh, and bring out the relics, bring out the sports, the, the tourism sports. Because if we don't do that one, we only see the house, which they call palace today there, and then if we don't build the place and, and try to open up the place and show different uh, areas, then it will happen that uh, people will encroach and they will spoil the place. Uh, meanwhile, the place is guided by a, a decree, um, an enactment by the government, because the in, okay, now it's uh, on, on um, so because when Nigeria became 100 years, uh, in, 19, uh, in 2014, uh, it was promoted to uh, national monument because uh, amalgamation was in 1914, and then 100 years later, uh, 2014, then they promoted it in order to um, national monument. So that is why we have not been able to see people encroaching on the place spoiling the place. But if care is not taken, if the government is not doing anything to it, it may happen that people will destroy the place systematically. But we only urge the government to help promote it, build uh, the place, uh, put uh, signboards, uh, put uh, warnings and so on and so forth, and uh, do what is necessary to make sure that uh, the place is protected. You've heard it all, my wonderful people. For those of you in diaspora, this is one of the best tourist sites that you need to visit. Yeah. You all need to come to Edori Hill and experience what we are about to experience now. So, uh, Daddy, thank you very much, sir. We are highly honored to have you, sir. Okay, sir. So, till I come your way, same time with another wonderful and interesting tourist site in Nigeria. I remain your G, saying goodbye and Odaho. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm <laughs>